If you want to see how I created this look using Cleona eyeshadow singles, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen with another video and I thought I would give you one last look with the Cleona shadows. And Cleona is my brand new focus number 24 that I'm doing right now. If you're not familiar, a brand new focus means that I am focusing on one brand, using everything I have from that brand, and at the end of that focus on that brand, I give you my impressions, my favorite products, my least favorite products, and maybe things to avoid. And I have been doing a lot of work on Cleona. I have a nine pan here. I've been transferring my singles from Cleona back and forth between this nine pan and my larger palette, which is this one. You'll see there's lots of empty space here because they're all in the other palette. Uh, what you'll see if you haven't seen the other videos is you'll see the big pans. These are highlighters. And then the other smaller pans are uh, shadows. And I don't know if the colors are really coming through. So let's do this. Hopefully you can see the colors better for the shadows. I have been enjoying myself quite a bit. Uh, there hasn't been a dud yet as far as I can see. And I thought today I would do a mostly matte look. I'm planning on using these three here. So toasty, parchment, raspberry fudge. And maybe I might use this one, which is Honeycrisp. I'm really learning these shadows. <laughs> this is awesome. If you do get from uh, Cleona, though, they nicely add the name. They nicely add the name underneath, which is really nice. And they also tell you what it's safe for. So in this case, face and eye. And you'll see also face, eye, and lips as well in different pigments. So, well, different shadows, I shouldn't say pigments. So anyway, let's uh, get right into it. I am really looking forward to it. I'm planning on using the Mustardy Beige as my transition color. I do have some color already on the lid. I use Vanilla and Wheat from the Smashbox palette, uh, Smashbox Matte Exposure palette, to set my primer and then just go from there. And I think that that's not that unusual for a lot of folks who do set their primer. You need to use something. So I use something. Given I'm going right over these colors, I'm going to use my fluffy brush that I used for wheat and vanilla and just go right into parchment, this guy right here. And as I did for the last video, which I thought was kind of nice, I'm just going to speed through each step of the makeup application because this really isn't a tutorial. So I'll do both eyes with parchment and then we'll talk about the next shadow. I dare anyone to tell me for my skin tone that that is not a nice transition color. I, I'm in love with parchment. So it's a very solid matte color. I'm going in with my angled brush to just carry that color a little bit down below. And I'm just going to soften up the edges right here. and back in with my angled brush on this side. Okay, I'm liking this very much. I plan on going in with Toasted, this guy right here, just in the crease before I go in with the next color. And for Toasty, I'm going to use my smaller crease brush. If you've been watching my <laughs> color demos, you would know that these three brushes are what I use the most. And I'll be very sad when they go because I know that they won't last so long because I use them so much. They are um, Sephora brushes, if you're curious. Actually, two of them are Sephora brushes. The really big one, the biggest fluffy one, is a Quo brush in their um, single brushes section. The Sephora ones came as a kit. A uh, kit in um, a beige-colored kit, five... Um, brushes and a um, gray kit with, again, five brushes.
Okay, so here is the application of the second color, Toasty. I like that one as well. I don't think I'm going to bring Toasty down though. I think I want to keep that for Raspberry Fudge, which is the last color that I'm thinking of. I am thinking of Raspberry Fudge pretty much all over the lid and then to lighten it up with Honeycrisp afterwards. So let's try that out. For Raspberry Fudge, I'm going to use this brush. It's a flatter brush to try to get it uh, nicely all over the lid. I'll probably go back to my crease brush and add a little bit of Raspberry Fudge into the crease, but we'll take it one step at a time. Raspberry Fudge, as a reminder, is this one right here. It's such a nice color. It, like, it's such a nice color. It's beautiful. It does look really nice with Toasty. I'm very happy. Okay, let's do the other lid. Nice. All right. Let's go to the lower lash line with that same color on the angled brush. Don't know if you can see that I got some fallout, but that's not that unusual uh, with any kind of matte shadow. So I'm, well, actually a number of shadows can cause that. I'm just going to brush it away, no big deal. It happens most of the time I put eyeshadow on, but I just, I just don't like to do my base last. So I just brush it away and call it a day. I like the way this looks. I am ready for Honeycrisp. I am just debating where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to do a little bit more detail work with the mats toward the inner lid. There's a little bit of inconsistency, so let me just do that first and then we'll get into Honeycrisp. Okay, that's better. Now let's get into Honeycrisp. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to layer Honeycrisp over Raspberry Fudge to see the effect on the back of my hand and then decide how I'm going to apply it. Here's Honeycrisp. And I have the Raspberry Fudge on my hand here and let me just apply it on top. This is what it looks like. I don't think it's going to look good on the center lid just based on how they layer together. It's, um, it's lighter and turns a little bit more icy on the raspberry fudge, which is fine, but I think that my best bet is to use my pinky and go on my inner lid, so we'll try that. All right, I like where this has gone. 
I had a hard time picking my eyeliner for uh, to finish up this look. I do have the blackest black on the upper waterline and I'm going to tight line with it as well along the lashes. And I've also picked Rockstar by Urban Decay. And it's this one right here. I was debating between this one and Alkaline. If you're curious about this one, this is Empire. But I was debating between these two and I think I'm going to go more for this one instead. Alkaline would be nice if I was going somewhere I wanted to really have an edgy look, but I just don't feel like it unless, you know, unless that was the case. So I'll go with this on the lower lash line, waterline, and then this one I will just reapply on the waterline, upper waterline that is, to darken it up again and then tight line as well. And the reapplication, I don't think it probably needs it, but I'm just saying I might. And then finally, I will be applying the Grand Entrance Mascara by Elizabeth Arden. It's the mascara I've been using lately because I'm trying to just finish the sucker up because I don't like the brush. I'll be right back with all of these applied and to give you my final thoughts. Here is the final look. I put my hair back and I used some NYX Dewy Finish to kind of set my makeup, although it's, uh, it's a little patchy today, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what happened, but anyway. And I finished it up with, as I said, Rockstar on the bottom, I put Annabelle Black is Black on the top, Grand Entrance Mascara, and after the spray, which maybe I should have done it before the spray, I used the uh, Tarte Tartiste in FOMO. This is the lip paint from Tarte in FOMO. I thought it was going to go well with this eye look. So I, uh, I liked it as, a, as an option. The, uh, the one that I had picked out first was this one. I had picked out the Smashbox Always On in Girl Gang, and I really like this color. I had actually suggested it to someone I know, and um, yeah, I really love this color. But this is a good alternative, and I'm happy I went with it. I hope you enjoyed watching this makeup look happen today. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it very much, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.